Hello, what up guys, this is DJ Right here, and today's video will be on the guide how to overclock your GTX 980. I recently bought two NVIDIA Gigabyte reference cards. Uh, the reason I bought the reference cards were because uh, there's a new product coming out. It's been delayed, I don't know when it will be coming out, but it's called the HG10 uh, course from Corsair, obviously. It is a closed loop uh, system water cooling for a graphic card uh, it's it was announced for the R9 to 90, uh, 90x uh, graphic cards from AMD but hopefully they'll come out for the GTX 980 that's why I've, you know I bet my money on the reference designs anyways shall we get on to you know the overclocking process the application I'll be using is MSI Afterburner I prefer it over EVJ because it's much more simplistic. Anyways, let's launch it up. All right, so on stable, I got the, you know, all right, this is GTX 980, um, you know, GTX 980 at, uh, I believe, I'm not sure what the base clock is, but the boost clock is at, uh, 100, uh, 1,266 megahertz. And um, I got a stable around another 250 added to it and 500 just over here like that. The power limit is set to 125. The voltage is untouched and you know profile one obviously there. Now the card will stabilize around that 85 degrees Celsius. I'm not sure how much Fahrenheit that is if you American folks are watching this. Um, anyways, uh, I done benchmarks to see what improvement it is. By the way, this is a SLI setup. I got two GTX 980s. So this is on the factory setting. So just like that at boost clock of 1,266. But obviously it's not exactly that because uh, Nvidia has something called boost technology, which you know overclocks the uh graphic card and voltages and stuff according to temperature limit and like the power limit right and then like you know tdp anyways uh on the benchmark i got the next max fps of 183 the minimum of 28 and the average of 111. my system uh i have windows 8 intel iso 3930k cpu uh that's just the you know that's the base clock uh, it's overclocked 4.7 gigahertz at the moment at 1.4 volts um, as you can see I got two right here six cores just to mention that and this is an extreme HD with full anti sync uh, by eight now this is uh, where it's overclocked as you can see let me just put them side by side so this is factory and this is over um, you know, overclocked I don't know if it's worth it it only gave me 11 frames but of course that is you know I'm using a SLI setup so maybe in a single card it will have a dramatic effect I'm not sure but you know scaling doesn't always you know it's not always working right with these graphic cards nowadays it's getting better as we get closer to better graph you know into the future but at the moment scaling you know, doesn't scale that properly anyways i done a little calculation thing here so here said in sli um you know additional two, uh, 250 megahertz at the clock, core clock and an additional 500 at the memory power level set to 125 voltages to factory setting untouched uh the benchmark i'm using is unigen valley now, see, he's around and off. So what I did, 11% difference, da, 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 and you get a 9% increase in FPS. Now, uh, you know, this, that's 9% because I've overclocked two graphic cards, but if you overclock your, you know, your 980 by same settings, you may not get 9% because, you know, I've overclocked two of them, you only get, but because of the scaling issues and stuff and you know less speed from one card you may although you know 
get around the 5 to 7% increase. I haven't benched my uh, single card, hopefully I'll do it another time, but you know, uh, a single card you may get 5 to 7% increase. This is just a speculation, you might get less, more. And why uh, I don't, you know, have it overclocked at the moment, the reason is, I don't have to overclock it because it's SLI. Like, there's no game out there that I couldn't play on 1080p. On 4K, the only 4K game that I could get over 60 frames is Counter Strike, believe it or not. I get like 200 frames in 4K. I don't have a 4K monitor, but uh, I could use that new dynamic rendering uh, software that, you know, render tricks the game into believing it's 4K. Anyways, I am planning on overclocking once the HG10 Corsair, Corsair HG10 comes out, I've got overclocked them, and, you know, avoid the risk of burning out my cards or something. Uh, they do run at 85 degrees at load when it's overclocked. When it's not overclocked, they run about 65 to 70 degrees, depending, you know, your climate and stuff. You know, it's pretty small here. It's about 26 degrees Celsius at the moment. Anyways, um, if you want, you could go overclock and stuff right there. Uh, it is not my responsibility if you damage or fry your graphic card. This is just a guide. I'm just telling you a precaution. If you touch a voltage or anything, uh, you could fry your graphic card. If the graphic card gets really hot, I, I believe they have like a 90 degree cap or cutoff rate where it just shuts down your system. But still, I wouldn't want you to burn your graphic cards. Just, uh, you know, don't overclock it by that much. Maybe, you know, 100 by 250, 125 by 250. You know, try something lower because it gets pretty hot. It's stable at these things. Um, so I've used it with uh, this application here. I've also used it with this here. I believe it's in trash. Where is it? There we go. Um, yeah, so 140 FPS, as you can see. I uh, got better frames than that, SLI, eh? but as you can see, Unigen Valley benchmark is, of course, something harder to run. Um, well, I hope you like this uh, video. Please subscribe and like, you know, yeah, let me know what I should post next or something, or what game I should benchmark this with, like Daisy or something. But I bet you, I bet you, I'm just telling you now, I'm speculating. I bet I'll still lag in Daisy, no matter what, I'll still lag in Daisy, it's not a joke. You'll go to a town, you'll have oofed reaction, like not even a joke, you just, you know, <laughs> no matter what, you still like, I got a 6 core CPU overclocked to 4.7 gigahertz. I have, you know, I haven't tried it yet, The nine, I haven't played DayZ since I got these cards, I've tried it in SLR 780 Ti's, I still lag. Not even a joke, you still lag on 780Ti's SLI setup, I sold them and bought these two. Um, anyways, I hope you guys don't destroy your cards, this is just a guide on, you know, how I did it. So, please take care of your graphic cards, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and yeah, so, uh, talk to you guys next time, take care. Do -do -do -do.